In this video lecture, we will understand about equivalent mass for solutions and normality. Equivalent mass may be defined as amount of a substance which reacts with 1 gram of hydrogen, 8 gram of oxygen or 35.5 gram of chlorine. Formula for equivalent mass is gram atomic mass or gram molecular mass divided by n factor. So if we know the n factor, we can easily find out the equivalent mass. n factor may be charge, acidity, basicity or change in oxidation number. Let's understand one by one. First of all, equivalent mass of an acid. It is equal to molecular mass divided by basicity. Basicity it is equal to number of replaceable hydrogen atom in one molecule of acid. For example, in case of HCl only one hydrogen is replaceable so its basicity is 1 whereas in case of sulfuric acid two hydrogens are replaceable so its basicity is 2. Similarly, basicity of various other acids are for HCl1, H2SO4 2, HNO3 1, for acetic acid 1, for oxalic acid 2, H3PO4 3, H3PO3 2, H3PO2 basicity is 1. So, if we need to determine equivalent mass of H2SO4, so according to formula, molecular mass divided by basicity, its molecular mass is 98 and basicity is 2, hence equivalent mass is 49. So, in this manner, we can find out equivalent mass of an acid. For base, equivalent mass is equal to molecular mass divided by acidity. Acidity may be defined as it is equal to number of replaceable hydroxide ion or OH ion in a base molecule. For example, in case of NaOH, acidity is 1. In case of calcium hydroxide, acidity is 2. So, for acetic acid, we can see there is 1 OH, but on ionization, it does not give OH ion. Hence, acidity is 0. Since it gives H ion, so it possesses basicity. So, equivalent mass of NaOH is molecular mass divided by basicity which is 1. Hence, equivalent mass is same as that of molecular mass. For salt, equivalent mass is equal to molecular mass divided by total positive valency. For iron, equivalent mass is equal to formula mass divided by charge per ion neglecting the sign. And for a reaction, equivalent mass of a species is equal to molecular mass divided by change in oxidation number. So remember students, any element or compound possess fixed molecular mass but it can have variable equivalent mass depending upon reaction and change in oxidation number. So now we can say equivalent mass is equal to gram atomic mass, gram molecular mass divided by n factor 
gram equivalent mass it is equivalent mass in gram number of equivalents is equal to weight in gram divided by equivalent mass number of equivalents are also equal to normality into volume in liter number of milli equivalents is equal to normality into volume in milliliter so now let's understand normality units of normalities is equivalent per liter or gram equivalent per liter so its definition is it may be defined as number of gram equivalent of solute present in 1000 cc or 1 liter of solution its si units are gram equivalent per decimeter cube and the formula for normality is number of gram equivalents divided by volume of solution in cc into 1000 number of gram equivalents are equal to weight upon equivalent mass so we can write another formula as weight of solute in gram divided by equivalent mass into volume of solution in cc into 1000 as we all know strength is equal to normality into equivalent mass so normality is equal to strength upon equivalent mass if we put the value of percentage strength so at the place of strength we can write weight by volume percentage into 10 divided by equivalent mass in case of mass percentage normality is equal to mass percentage into density into 10 divided by equivalent mass so the difference between normality and molarity is in case of normality we use equivalent mass whereas in case of molarity we use molecular mass relation between normality and molarity is normality is equal to acidity or basicity into molarity normality in terms of milli equivalent normality may be defined as number of milli equivalents of solute present in 1 cc of solution so its another unit can be number of milli equivalent per cc we can say 